Hi gang, my name is Dr. Jay Brighton with New Leaf Chiropractic and Family Wellness and joining me today is my beautiful wife, Dr. Christina. So, so we're gonna cover eight different stretches that you can do for your upper back. Uh, so the first one, and I'm gonna have my right around here, this one's gonna work on your rhomboid. So if the pain is in this area, this particular exercise can help out. Commonly it's called the, the eagle exercise and um, what we're attempting to do is get that shoulder blade pulled out of the way. Um, so you can just, just pull that across. You want to make sure that you're pulling the energy of your shoulder all the way across. And you want to work on both sides. Again, sometimes it's a little bit easier. I don't have the best flexibility ever. But you can see I'm pulling that across my body this way. So number one, the eagle or the round point stretch. Number two is just the head tilt right here. So on my wife, the trapezius muscle is right here. So with the head tilt sideways, you can pull it over. Ideally, you don't want someone to do this for you. You want to do it actively to yourself. Very good. Similar to that head tilt, we're gonna engage what's called the levator scat. The difference with this is when Christina went straight to the side, now look in your left, or in this case, look in your right pocket. By looking down, like you're looking in your pocket for a nickel, it's gonna engage the levator scat muscle, which goes from your cervical spine into the upper part of the back. Actually, it goes right into the top part of the scapula shoulder blade. So it's directly across, head tilt, the trap is two, look down for our nickel, levator scap, that's number three. Latissimus dorsi, so this is just lateral bend. So I went around, my wife had a workout chip, so you're a great big latissimus dorsi muscle. It's a really big muscle, it goes from T1 all the way out lateral, back inserts at T12, it's back around. And for this, we're just arms over your head, and you're just bending. So Christina's engaging her left, and I'm engaging my right, and then you can go backwards. I think that's what Christina. <laughs> okay, so your latissimus dorsi and lateral bend is number three. I'm gonna push my wife out of the way for this one. I'm gonna guide her gently out of the frame. This is the Volkswagen stretch. V, W, V, W. You can also refer to another video that we have against the wall on this, and kind of invite you back into the family video. Um, and what we're attempting to do is get these round boys brought back, so give me a big feet, Christina. Really kick straight up, and then the W, you want to make sure you're coming straight back down and engaging those round boys, the Volkswagen stretch. You're also, so you're getting the lower part of the traps on this one. Uh, the next one, just grabbing a lacrosse ball. Oh, we have a lacrosse ball here. Got it. You have to use the cross, use the cross ball in a significant inner office. You do this on the floor against the wall, but what you're attempting to do with the lacrosse ball is you're just working it into your back. This one can be a bit of a burner. Lacrosse balls you can get on Amazon or to play against sports in town. Um, it's a pretty heavy ball. Not a racket ball, but a lacrosse ball. So really good to dig into those back muscles. The other one that goes with this, lacrosse ball six, foam roller seven. Back. And usually you do this on the floor. Also on our website, uh, Longmont uh, Relief Chiropractic.com or chiropracticlongmont.com. Click on stretches. There's a whole video on how to foam roll. This one overlaps because the foam rolling is going to happen here. Usually we'll do those on the floor. Actually, here. You want to foam roll or shall I? Good? Okay. So, Christina, while she's doing the foam rolling, this is number seven on the floor. And usually we're a big fan of crossing our arms and go all the way back into the frame of view. Back that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. There you go. Beautiful. All right, thank you, Christina. Can you show us a child's pose? So the last one is more of just like a relaxation, but this is classic yoga, just child's pose on the floor. And in this particular one, we're just stretching out the latissimus dorsi, the traps, not so much the gap, but definitely the latissimus dorsi there. Eight stretches that you can do for your upper back. The eagle, stretch around the way, head tilt, trap, head tilt, levator, scap. Don't forget about the latissimus dorsi with lateral bend, that's four. Volkswagen stretch, the cross ball, foam roller, and then the last one, child's pose. Hope you enjoyed this video. These videos, uh, these strengthening stretching videos may or may not work for you. Please consult your doctor first. I feel like that kind of goes without saying, but I want to remind everybody officially that you do need to make sure these work for you because they might not. If you are my patient, uh, just, just have an office, just chat, chat in my office. Hope this was helpful, game. Okay?